How's it going, everybody? Poser Mobile here, bringing you another absolute banger of a platinum. Today, we've got another one from Humble Games called Unpacking, and you're looking at 20 bucks cross buy with four total stacks. This is a relaxing, zen like game about the experience of, well, unpacking. Moving out of your childhood home into a dorm, moving in with someone else, moving into your own apartment, and moving into your own home with someone else. Trophy-wise, there's a number of miscellaneous trophies as well as trophies tied to finishing each level, but nothing is missable as there's a very easy chapter select that brings you back to the point where you have already unpacked everything. I actually played through this on stream and it took me a little over three hours to finish everything, though your time to completion will definitely vary depending on how into organizing everything in each level you're going to get. I think anywhere between the one to four hours range is a pretty good expectation for this Platinum. I'm gonna walk you through each of the miscellaneous trophies level by level, so follow along with the timestamps down below as you progress through the game. So on the first level, it's 1997, and you've got two trophies you can grab while you're here. As you move through the level, you'll eventually unpack a Rubik's Cube. Keep interacting with it using Circle, and you'll eventually get the Solve a Puzzle trophy for solving the Rubik's Cube. Finally, you'll eventually unpack a Boombox, interact with it using Circle, and you'll get some music to start playing, and you'll unlock the Blast Some Tunes trophy. That's it for the first level, so moving on to level 2 and 2004 with an additional three trophies. First, you'll eventually unpack an Artist's Mannequin, while holding it, so not placed down, interact with it using circle until it's in a dabbing position and you'll unlock the strike a pose trophy. Next, you'll eventually unpack a toaster. All you have to do here is take it, move it into the bathroom and place it inside the tub to unlock the electrical hazard trophy. Next, you'll eventually unpack a cookie jar for this, you have to place it on the very top of the shelves in the kitchen to unlock the A Sometimes Food trophy. Finally, you have to go into the bathroom and flush the toilet. This is the first part of the overarching trophy, gotta flush them all. That's it for the second level, so moving on to level 3 and 2007 with an additional two trophies. First up, you'll eventually unpack a GameCube. Go ahead and put it in the entertainment system and interact with it using Circle to turn it on unlocking the Game On trophy. Next, you'll eventually unpack a baseball cap. You have to take the hat into the dining room, and on top of the shelves, you'll see a couple mannequin heads. Put the cap on one of the heads to unlock the Hat On Head trophy. Finally, you just have to go into the bathroom and flush the toilet. That's it for the third level, so moving on to level 4 and 2010 with an additional two trophies. First up, you have to tidy up your partner's underwear drawer. You have to head into the bedroom and open the top two drawers in the wardrobe on the right side, where you'll find all of your partner's underwear. Just move all of them into a single drawer instead of them being spread between the two to unlock the Tidy Whiteys trophy. Next, you need to move all of the coffee making equipment onto a single part of the counter. None of this stuff has to be unpacked, so you can do this right away. You need to grab a coffee packet from the top left wall cabinet, the coffee drip filter from the bottom shelf of the top left wall cabinet, a white mug from the bottom shelf of the middle wall cabinet, the two coffee grinders, one is on the island in the middle of the kitchen and the second is on the other counter between the espresso machine and kitchen scales. Grab the teapot from the bottom drawer on the right hand side of the counters and the espresso machine on the counter next to the sink. Put all of that on a single part of the counter and you'll get the brew some coffee trophy. Finally, you have to just go into the bathroom and flush the toilet. That's it for the fourth level, so moving on to level five and 2012 with only one additional trophy. You'll be back in your old bedroom from level one and all you have to do is open the cabinet on the left side of the room to find a rolled up poster. Pick that up and hang it on the wall somewhere to unlock the Rediscover Childhood trophy. That's it for the fifth level, so moving on to level six and 2013 with an additional two trophies. First, you'll eventually unpack a microwave, set it on the shelf above the countertop, and interact with it using circle to set the time to something, unlocking the 12 o'clock trophy. 
Next, you'll eventually unpack a number of fridge magnets in the kitchen. You have to take the numbers you get and make an equation with them on the fridge, so like 1 plus 2 equals 3, and you'll unlock the brilliantly solved trophy. Finally, you have to go into the bathroom and flush the toilet. That's it for the 6th level, so moving on to level 7 and 2015 with only one additional trophy. As you move through the level, you'll eventually unpack a stuffed pig and stuffed tiger in the bedroom. Place them side by side on the bed and you'll unlock the fuzzy friends trophy. That's it for the 7th level, so moving on to the final level, 8 and 2018, with only one additional trophy. As you move through the level, you'll eventually unpack a number of baby blocks in the nursery. Stack the blocks up to at least a stack of five, and you'll unlock the Baby Builder Trophy. Finally, you'll have to find the last two toilets for the overarching trophy here. Interact with each of them to flush them, and if you've flushed all the other toilets along the way, you'll unlock your Gotta Flush Em All Trophy. All right, that'll do it for me though, everybody. Super simple, easy, relatively fast platinum today. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like, comment down below which number platinum this was for you, and subscribe to the channel for more trophy hunting content. This was actually number 1000 for me.